Hey guys, I am Jess McDonnell. It's the 11th of April, and here are my top five favorite stories from the last week in gaming. First up, a bunch of Watch Dogs things happened, and here's everything you need to know. Ubisoft released a trailer in association with NVIDIA to show you just how cool the game is going to look on PC. Although alongside that, we got the recommended system specs, which are pretty damn high. Check them out and let me know if you're planning to upgrade your PC. Watch Dogs will also require Uplay to run whether or not you choose to buy through Steam, so get all prepped for that one. Next up, a five-year-old has essentially outsmarted the entire Microsoft tech division by finding a security flaw in the Xbox One. The adorable little dude whose name is Christopher earned himself four free games, 50 bucks, and a year of Xbox Live Gold from Microsoft after he hacked into his dad's account by entering blank spaces in the verification screen after entering an incorrect password. Instead of rejecting the input, the Xbox One logged into his dad's account. The preschooler told his local news station that when he got in, he was like, yeah, and then got nervous that his dad would find out. Are you smarter than a five-year-old? Apparently not, Xbox One development team. There's a pretty awesome Easter egg in Battlefield 4, and you'll never guess what it is. We have to move this story along, so I'll just tell you, it's a giant shark. The prehistoric Megalodon shark comes from the Battlefield 4 ocean and my nightmares in the Nancha Strike map within the Naval Strike DLC. YouTuber Jack Frags found the terrifying creature and even if you do have a crippling fear of sharks like me, the video is so worth a watch. Microsoft wants to blow your mind holes with the cloud this week, and here's how. The publisher have shown how they can use the cloud to let developers offload processing to remote servers, which then frees up local hardware for rendering and whatnot. The footage we've seen so far is from a prototype and not the Xbox One, but Microsoft is saying that the cloud can be used for new kinds of experiences that have never been possible. And last up, The Last of Us Remastered is coming to the PS4 and here's all the good stuff you need to know about it. It's listed at 60 bucks, will be in 1080p, and there's already an announcement trailer to give you your first glimpse at what we can expect from the updated visuals. Graphics-wise, there will be high-res character models with improved textures, shadows and lighting, as well as the director's commentary and all the previously released DLC. Be sure to let me know all your thoughts and feelings on this week's stories and let me know what you cared about in that comment section down below or if you prefer to hit me up directly I'm on Twitter at Jess McDonnell. This week on site I talk about whether The Elder Scrolls Online is any good for Skyrim fans, Cam asks whether MMOs are bad for you and keep up with Captain America's shenanigans in Skyrim mods. Those are all the things that I have for you this week but be sure to join me again on Monday and I hope you have a great weekend till then.